Hello, my name is Art Thompson. I'm a drummer, percussionist, educator, and author in the metro Atlanta area. And um, what I'm going to do today is demonstrate an exercise that I came up with. Um, and although I came up with the exercise, I didn't necessarily come up with the components of the exercise. The first component is a um, fairly common um, rudimental drum core style warm up called double beat, triple beat. Um, this particular version of it, I believe, came from the Santa Clara Vanguard, at least that's what I was told. Um, and um, it involves, the first part of it is in 4-4, um, is in four four, and then it repeats the exercise, um, dropping the last eighth note and putting it into 7-8. The second component of the exercise is a, a, a bass drum hi-hat ostinato that, was, that my friend Scott Strunk came up with. Um, and uh, you should check out some of his videos on YouTube as well. He's got some good stuff as well. Um, he, um, he came up with this ostinato pattern, and it goes like this. It would be counted one, two, three, 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 one. Okay? So that combined with the Santa Clara Vanguard exercise, which goes like this. see on that second part the hi-hat uh, actually switched to the upbeat um, because I didn't change the time signature of this I just kept it going and uh, but but when that when I switched to seven um, with the hands that ended up being on the upbeat so when you heard that that was the seven eight section um, so I'm going to combine that with one two three one two three one two three one what makes this exercise particularly difficult is the fact that you've got all these multiple time signatures going on. Um, so what I would suggest and what I try to do is not think about what the feet are doing. Just kind of let that go on autopilot and think more about what you're doing with the hands. Because um, if I try to think about all of it, it, my brain will go haywire and it'll all fall apart. Uh, and I don't want that to happen. So, um, but at the same time, I'm still thinking about the subdivisions. Um, so think about the subdivisions, but don't necessarily think about what your hands or what, what your feet are doing. Think about what your hands are doing and just let kind of let your feet go on autopilot. Uh, hopefully that'll help. It certainly helps me. Of course, everybody's brain works differently, so you, you can do whatever you got to do to make it work for you. Um, so here's the exercise. I'm going to do it with a metronome so you can hear how everything all fits together. Um, and the, here's another interesting thing about this. This is actually kind of amazing to me that this actually if you do the exercise correctly with the 3-4 or the 3-8 ostinato in the feet you go through the whole exercise everything should land in time on the downbeat with the metronome so the metronome is going to be in 4-4 the whole time so you're going to be hearing that along with all these other time signatures going on at the same time and it all lands on one I don't know why it works out like that I never did the math, but it works out, so that's kind of cool. Um, and you can use that as a, a determining factor as to whether you're doing the exercise correctly or not. So uh, here it is.
So check that out. It's a fun and challenging exercise. And once you get it down at that tempo, then you can try speeding it up and slowing it down. Um, also, if you're interested in, uh, if you like what you see here and you're interested in studying with me, um, I have a lot of materials and um, a lot of, um, lot of experience playing and teaching music. And uh, so if you're interested in studying with me, if you live in the metro Atlanta area, by all means, uh, contact me. I'm going to put my contact information down in the description part of the, the video underneath. And um, if you don't live in the metro Atlanta area and you still want to study with me uh, through the wonders of modern technology, we can actually do that because I'm going to be um, getting myself set up very soon here to do Skype and FaceTime lessons. So, um, and um, so just give me a, give me some, you know, get in contact with me and, uh, and uh, if you're interested and uh, we'll get, get some lessons set up for you. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.